We got another CJ the Champ video. I'm, I'm doing all the ones I missed. Mojito, the most diabolical. Bro turned his arm into a cannon thinking he's Samus. Started spamming the shit out of gear third. And then they get in the elevator and he tries to kiss the gun. Hey, yo, what the f***? I am Kevin. You left out the part where the nigga tried to kiss the nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I am Kevin got a video about this nigga too. You kind of let that out, man. I ain't know he was out here. Essaying. Ah, get rid of him. He essaying. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Pack him up, man. Greetings once again, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all back to the asylum. Our very special place for the cuckoo Hello. of cockeyes and the mentally <laughs> insane. And ladies and gentlemen, today we have a doozy. Today we'll be diving into the mind of a man that has terrorized the entire city, traumatized a 15 year old little boy, and sh I'm gonna just be honest with you, the mother is oh, insufferable. No, and if you hate this nigga, I don't blame you. Patient 002. Mahito. Now, before we start, I have made a change in the scoring system of the asylum. Now on the sanity meter, instead of five levels, there are now 10. And if they commit one of these certain actions that is listed, the meter will go up to how much the action is worth. And now with that out the way, it is time to commence rehabilitation. Chapter one, Junpei the Fool. See, I guess Poor I didn't know old little was. Junpei. A very <laughs> tragic tale, to be honest. I guess I didn't know what level of a uh... A psychopath this nigga is, but I'm sure CJ the champ will let me know. Thank you, CJ. Now, as we can see, this little is getting his ass beat by some bullies. And why they beating his ass, you may ask? Simple. They was trying to impress a bitch. Really, nigga? Some How mid at it? that. Look at her strong ass face, nigga. Oh, sharp ass chin, bitch built like the nigga chin. And then look at sorry <laughs> ass teacher just watching the student getting his ass beat like, <laughs> shit, that ain't my problem. <laughs> it's lunchtime, nigga. Huh? So they end up beating his ass, then posting it on Instagram, clowning him. Because obviously, these dudes is trying to run a train on them tracks. But later on after this, Junpei goes to the movies to skip school. And while he's at the movie, what do you know? The three stooges are there yapping they ass off with they goddamn cell phone and they in the talking. goddamn theater. That fucking bright ass cell phone like with the phone the fuck off. Oh, yeah. And then they hear yapping like, yo man, I think she's gonna let us hit bro. But out of nowhere, this dirty ass nigga pops up right yeah. behind them and says, Oh my gosh, you guys are so rude. Didn't you read the disclaimer? No cell your device is allowed. And this man uses uh -oh. his special disgusting ass technique, idle transfiguration, or what I like to call it, the cheese touch. Cheese. Transforms these niggas into, I don't know. The first dude look like he got a pair of testicles on his head. What? The second nigga looking like Roger from American Dad. And the third dude, I don't know, bro just gave him a big ass forehead. But right off the bat. No Rihanna, Rihanna. I, no Rihanna slander will be taken on this channel. Calm, calm that down. Calm that down. Boom, that's a multi-kill. This nigga's a level two right out the gate. Oh, you he know killed what? Him? For putting his dirty ass unwashed hands on another man's face? Look at that's unhinged behavior at a half. <laughs> so after Junpei just- I ain't gonna lie, bro. Just off him. You ain't need to transmogrify their face, nigga. How you gonna give him a goddamn BBL and then nah, nigga, a facelift too? He did that just so they couldn't be putting the casket right, bro. God damn, just, just end him witnessed a triple homicide, Junpei thought to himself, oh my God, I just witnessed a whole serial killer, but he did kill my bullies. And that was kind of cool. I think I'm gonna go follow him. So this dumb ass nigga decides to follow bro down a dark alley. Like bro, oh, are yeah, you dumb? You need nigga need just you witnessed go. a triple homicide and said, let me go follow the killer. But no, this is where we start to see how despicable this man Mahito is. So he turns around and says, ah, you can see me, yeah. I see you want to learn the dark arts, yes? And obviously, since Junpei is basically having a terrible life right now, he's like, yeah, teach me what you just did, bro. So yeah. Mojito takes him back to his evil lair in the sewers, and he just starts teaching him about cursed spirits and cursed energy, and is obviously just Not manipulating true. and taking advantage of a kid with a pretty shitty mental state right now. So then later on one day, he ends up hearing something down the tunnel, and while he's looking down at Mojito pops in his face, and he tells him, you you hear it, don't you, boy? My experiment, sir. Would you care to take a look? 
So he takes him back here and he shows him this big ass glob. What? Him, now you see my young boy, this is Big Bertha. She was a fat bitch I found on the side of the road. So I wondered, could I make her even bigger? <laughs> But no, it gets worse. Then this nigga says, You see that little turd you're holding in your hand? That was a midget named Eduardo. And I mean, oh, he was already on. a midget, so I wanted to see if I could make him even smaller. Come on, bro. This nigga is trash. This man. I ain't gonna lie, though. Ain't after watching that, um, the last video with the dude that was blicking people with the robot, I almost feel numb to this. This ain't even that crazy. It's just like, I watch babies get murked off, bro. It ain't. <laughs> and I remember people in the comments section of that video was like, you you know boo is worse and and sell and shit is worse like that. And I get it. I get it. You, technically, you are right because they destroyed entire planets, which means they kill all the babies. There's something different about when it's implied, right? And when you see it, there's something different about it. Technically, y'all right, yeah. Booing them are worse, right? But there's something different about turning somebody into a chocolate bar and then they get with And you know when you watch Dragon Ball Z, the stakes of death aren't as high because niggas get wished back all the time. That's just it's just what happens. So the, it don't, it's not as vitriol. That last one I watched was too realistic, nigga. If you told me, yeah, nigga, there's a fucking, they can collect seven things and wish people back. It would be less, but it just felt like the creators of that show did too good of a job making it feel too real and is disgusting. He is out so here I'm doing enough. human experimentation. And what makes it worse, these people are technically still alive. This is straight unhinged mm. behavior. Like this nigga is a different type of sick. He is treating humans like Play-Doh. So later on after this, Nanami ends up finding Mahito's hideout and wastes no time. He pulls a machete on this ugly bastard. So he ends up chopping off his hand. But doesn't look at this nasty nigga. Bro's just twirling around his hand like helicopter, helicopter. So then he fixes his hand and pulls out more of his cursed turds and just oh. starts shooting them at him. They got the damn gum gum fruit. And this next part is just terrible. Look at this. Nanami standing on the thing and the cursed turd starts talking and saying, <laughs> Oh, hell no. Just reminding us that these people are still alive. They just got turned into Play-Doh. So then Mahito oh my rushes up and hits him with the dose of the cheese touch. And then look at him bag up. This nigga got horse legs. Blood turned into a stallion. Ah, more. Ah. Yeah, he had anatomy on his heel. He said it turned a stallion. Ah. 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 That was a bomb. If you didn't catch that joke, listen to more hip hop, please. Just, I don't know what you're doing, bro. Stop it. <laughs> Get help. He was like, ah, uh -uh, hell no. So Mahito ends up hitting him off this ledge and gives us a nice good daily dose of zest. Cause why are his toes out? Hey yo, what the fuck? Dog, who, who animated this scene? This nigga got his stinky ass, nasty ass toes out and everything. Like Straight diabolical. So Nanami cuts For him to go higher on the chart cause his toes is out is crazy. Off Bro's foot, tells him, put on some shoes, you dirty ass nigga. And Bro said, I'm making a strategic retreat, my nigga, because you stink. And just drops a bunch of debris on him. And then after the fight, look at this nasty oh, bastard. Nigga, this nigga turned into a fucking worm. Like, Bro, what is that? Nigga built like the Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> so after the fight with Nanami, tragedy occurs with yours truly behind it. So Junpei and Ichidori. I mean, how much of a man? Nigga, you lost already, nigga. <laughs> Like, I get it, but you can't show me a nigga losing. Yeah, no, he 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 crawled out the debris, but he lost that fight, nigga. So it's like, I mean, you kind of just hold him a little bit. You kind of just job that nigga. Or he end up becoming like, nigga. Bring the nigga with the machetes. <laughs> He get too diabolical. He get too crazy. Go get the nigga with the machete for that nigga. And pretty good friends. Shit, Itadori's even at his house sharing a meal with him and his mom. But after Itadori leaves, one of Sukuna's fingers appear at his house in front of his mama. And well, uh, someone Hello? behind her was looking real hungry. <laughs> The next morning, his mama's corpse is discovered and half of the body is bit off from the waist down. And well, <laughs> guess who probably set this shit up? Oh, you guessed it. Ta-da! This motherfucker. What do you mean probably? 
What's this man problem? planted one of Sukuna's fingers in his Hold on. Don't, don't be giving niggas bodies that you ain't for sure that's their bodies. They're claiming a the body. Whole time it was somebody else's. Shout that, um, the award of more of uh, finesse two times, nigga. Hold on. Unless you know, nigga. Niggas be claiming bodies. Like, that ain't your work, nigga. Is that your work? I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> house and got his mama killed and guess what it wasn't just mahito ghetto has some shit to do with this as well be scheming ass niggas but no here's the crazy part after his mom's death mahito starts talking to him and saying oh man i'm so sorry about your mom bro obviously somebody <laughs> set you up with this finger do you know anybody that was a jujutsu sorcerer that was probably in your house last night having dinner with you <laughs> is this nigga serious Sick ass nigga, bro. Man, is out here trying to set Itadori up, bro. Oh, Diabolical oh. ass nigga at a half. So later on after this, Mahito and Geto end up going to Junpei's high school and they end up casting a veil and Junpei walks in looking like a school you know who and just starts to beat the shit out of one of his bullies because he thinks that he paid Yuji to set him up. Oh man, the way he manipulated this kid is horrible. So for like a good five minutes, Itadori and Junpei have a little squabble. So after they're done with that little friendly squabble and Itadori uses talk no jutsu, Mahito comes from the stairs and he's like, hey, how's it going? guys are you guys done fucking around yet and bro uses gear <laughs> and pins Itadori on the wall so Junpei's like oh what's going on oh he don't stop this you're not a bad person stop the cap <laughs> stop the cap right now stop the cap so after Junpei finally comes to his senses Mahito Junpei. comes behind him and tells him ah, kids these days y'all little niggas will believe anything now won't you you my friend are a fool he turns this to a fat alligator. What the fuck is that? Oh, Nigga turned no. him into a fusion of Pumba, Barney, and a fucking crocodile. Facts. Oh, just sad, man. bro. Look at him hanging on for dear life. Itadori, help me. I was a dumbass. And tragically, Junpei dies. Damn. This motherfucker is sick, bro. We're not even through chapter one. And this <laughs> nigga is already halfway. Oh, oh, this nigga. Bring the nigga with the machetes, bro. But apparently, that's that nigga kryptonite. Nigga is mean? sick. Bro, took advantage of a bullied kid and said, I'm going to use you as my little plaything. So after this, bro. Mahito gets his Woo! ass whooped and very rightfully so. Niggas like, oh my god, is my nose bleeding? And Itadori was whooping his ass. Oh my god. On his own noodle arm. Bro said, sit your dumb ass down with that bootleg ass gum gum fruit, nigga. I'm going to keep it tall. This Mahito nigga might be a little menace, but this nigga ain't got hands, bro. I ain't about to witness this nigga get mixed again, am I? What nigga? You keep getting mixed, my nigga. Shit, even Nanami came in, bro. Say, let oh, me get some mix on this dirty ass motherfucker. And I mean, I don't blame him. Look at this diabolical fuck. Bro, <laughs> puked out some turds and said, me no, Jump that nigga, bro. But then jump look at this nigga. glorious scene when they just start jumping the shit out of there. We nigga. go. Y'all, like, nigga, turned into a beast. I'm like, bow, 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 bow. I've seen this part. I've seen this meme. This is legendary. I ain't gonna lie to you, Mahito. You not that diabolical, my nigga. You, you messed up. You a messed up nigga. But, nigga, I ain't never seen uh, a nigga. You get mixed. This the second time this nigga mixing you, bro. You get mixed by this nigga by himself. Mixed by this nigga by himself. Mixed together. Nah, nigga. Nah, nigga, you getting mixy. Oh, you that getting pussy mixed up. Oh, he's getting his ass beat so bad he had to panic. Oh, bro, press Q and said domain expansion. So he ends up trapping Nanami in here in this yeah, musty ass it. domain expansion. But here comes the MC coming to save the day. And then we know what happened next. Stupid. Big Dog said, get your dirty ass on my face, nigga. And dropped the damn patchy the pirate patch face bum. And bro knew he was cooked. So he had to turn into cell when he was about to blow up the earth and pop like a balloon to make his retreat. Bruh. And then just look at this musted, dusted, dirty son of a they bitch just sitting with. in these damn sewers like, nah, that was fun. Niggas thought that little bum ass boy was gonna join the main cast. <laughs> Psych. Getting beat up like that was fun. Getting mixed like that was fun. Chapter two. Fight A back, bro. Halloween. <laughs> 
You now, down before three. we even get to the Halloween night, we have to observe the casualty before that night. And that is none other than Mechamaru. Now, I'm not even going to hold y'all. The man went out like a G. I mean, he pulled out a whole fucking mech. Dude pulled up in the Ava and booted oh. his dirty ass across the country. And look, he wasn't even done. Mahito came back for some more just to get hit with the left and sent flying. But sadly for Mechamaru, yeah, even up. though his mecha was cool, he had to get reminded that he was just a side character. So Mahito ends up killing him. And what makes this sad? This man just got his body back from being crippled for his entire life. And he was about to meet his shorty with his actual self. And got smoked. <laughs> so after that first incident, later on that night, we see this dirty bastard again, about to commit his most horrible only be beating niggas who don't got powers like that bro like what we doing bro like man, this nigga sorry man. Or act of all time so itadori ends up finding oh, this shit. lady that looks absolutely traumatized and is in a vegetable state so we ask her hey uh, everything good no. monsters everybody turns into monsters that's face nigga then she ends up turning into mega mind and just falls over and dies and then Itadori ends up realizing, oh God. I ain't gonna lie, that's a terrible way to go. We're cooked! Five minutes later. Shibuya. Hello, everybody. This is your conductor. I, see, I think I saw this part. Now, please stand clear as the train arrives for your death. I mean, uh, to take you home. Yes, to take you home. Ah, uh, finally, man. Let me out of here, man. Hip, hip, hooray. We're saved. Come on, man. Move. Get me on the train, uh. I haven't trusted trains and civilians ever since Omni Man. Keep it tall. <laughs> Hell no. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our first level tick. So he releases all of these transfigured humans and chaos just ensues. And this is not just in the train station. Nigga, this is everywhere. The outside is literally just hell on earth. This girl gets thrown into a sign. One right here just gets ate. And somebody right here getting their ass just scooted. Whoever was the person that got transfigured right here, that brother must have been starving. And there are just bodies everywhere, dude. And who do all these kills belong to? And guess who? Your favorite dirty, musty, bitch-faced do son of a bitch. You ain't Diabolical do it, though. Those bastard, I'll tell you that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, since Mahito has hit the almighty level 10, any action committed from this point on will now count as a bonus stars. The more diabolical shit he does, the more stars he gets. And trust me, he gonna need them because later on, we end up seeing a crippled Nanami. And this man looks cooked. Literally half his body is burnt off. And so while he's fighting for his life against like a million something transfigured humans, you can tell that he's on his last stand because it's showing shots of him on the beach. So after he's done killing all of them, Mahito appears behind him and tells him, Ah, it's you, Snuck him. the one who survived the cheese stretch. You know, I will never forget the day that you jumped me. And blows this nigga up, Jesus Christ, Damn. bro. This sick fuck just back. blew this man's body. He fight like a little bit, though. He fight like a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. Sneaking, sending your peoples. I Yo, see. Right in front of Itadori. So now it's time for the final battle. The traumatized 15-year-old versus the patch-faced bastard. So Itadori goes this. in for the swing against Rock. Ooh, man there gets fight. Okay. Flying. Man's nice got fight. a fat-ass scar on his head now. And I can tell the figurine companies are going crazy right now. They like, ooh, new character design just dropped. That's a Funko Pop. And look at him coming for the swing. Hey! Man made the cut even deeper. Gotta make sure that new character design sticks. So then this is where Mahito does some more sick shit. So Itadori asks him how you can play with innocent people's lives like this. And he smiles at him and turns his head into Junpei. And look at this trolling. Yeah, you couldn't save your friend, huh? Yeah. Yeah, 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 stupid nigga. This is just disgusting, bro. Absolutely unhinged behavior right yeah, here. In this whole fight, he was just being diabolical. Bro turned his arm into a cannon thinking he's Samus. Oh, started look at spamming the shit out of gear third. And then they get in the elevator and he tries to kiss the nigga. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Like, dog, that's harassment. Nah, get him going. Back the fuck that's up. That's SA. Nah, get him out of here. What he does right here is horrible. Each of ends up finding these two dudes and they like, hey, man, you better get over here. There's monsters everywhere. So each of is like, listen, guys, you got to get out of here. And he gets punched in the mouth. I was about to say, hell like, no. no. He was hiding in this 
man's body. This is disgusting. Oh, and you didn't think it could get worse? He grabs bro right here and makes him a soul. Are you serious? No. Are you no, serious? No, 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 bro. I do not care what anybody says. This is the worst death. A man sword is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life, man. Oh my God, that is just nightmare fuel. That's what this nigga is. He's nightmare fuel. This entire series, I have to know what's going on inside this man's head right now. Like, why did you have to do this? This man must have watched that one isekai reincarnated as a sword and said, hmm, let me see if I could do that. And this man still wasn't done killing the innocents. Look at him. Blood said, Dumb 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 human. Dumb. And bro just gets sense fly. This nigga is like at he this said, point this man's entire arsenal is just using innocent human beings Look at yeah he nice when it's innocent human beings though but when it's niggas who can bag back he he, he even yeah. made this man yeah. explode the flashbang bro so mahito's about to kill him but bro ends up getting blasted from the inside Stupid. out because apparently dude had a double the whole time that was fighting nobara and she hit that boy with the band hammer so while he's basically stunned into doing pops off on bro, oh there we go talking, like taking combo Goofy. type shit uh, like, uh, uh, come here hold that uh, come, come here. here look at him he even grabbed him Mixy boy stupid. The wall just to combo him some more and look at him hit the you see that's what he looked like when he fighting a nigga who can really fight if it ain't a civilian you turn it into a sword nigga you get mixed every time nigga the finisher stupid falcon punch so after nigga. this man got juggled on the wall it hit with the nastiest combo of the decade he was like no no i cannot go out like this so this man turned into some despicable mean minions and decided to make his great escape just to do some more horrendous shit so he ends up running into his double. And guess who was chasing behind that other double? Oh, hell no. Yeah, that, yeah, so y'all probably know where this is going. Bro rubs his nasty ass hands on Nobara's face and gives her the cheese touch. And you knew it was over for her because they did a whole 20 minute backstory. <laughs> like, bro, that's how you know she was cooked. Uh, and yeah, um, man, shit went cool. <laughs> Man, wow! I don't even want to talk about this shit no more, bro. This damn shitty fucked hard bastard. See, look, now I'm at the point that I'm just saying shit. Like this man has put Itadori through like years of pain in the amount of ten minutes. Like he's literally putting everybody that he knows in a pack. And look at this fuck nigga, bro. Hit him with a black flag. Bro, he's dead. He's just looking at him beating his ass and telling him. He's so him, lame hey, what the though. Fuck his fighting style so weak, nigga. Like. You ain't got no hands for real. You just like to play psychological games. You think this is nigga? What? You thought this was gonna be some Team 7 Naruto so bullshit? Sakura cool pull up on this nigga. This is JJJ. No happy endings allowed. And then he just beat this man over and over so she again. Thought, this, this man Itadori was cooked. But when all hope seemed lost and you in a dark place, there is one person that could save you, and that's your brother. So Tojo? Big Bro Toto pulled up and said, I'ma need you to back up, little bro. Out here fit it clap. Brother. So then he told Itadori, get your ass up, little bro. What the fuck beat the big booty hoes gonna think of your ass if you on your knees, nigga? Man, but beat then his ass. Up attacking him, but dog clapped and kicked the shit out of him. And said, I'ma need you to back up. Me and my brother is trying to have a sentimental moment. So the mm. tall and big Big booty yeah, loving tag show. team champions was ready to Still defend their title against Goofy Patchy bitch. the Bump, and they did not waste no time. They started cooking oh, this nigga. Go. It got to the point yeah, where Mahito got desperate and had to do some more hellacious shit. And what do I mean by that? Turning two more people <laughs> into swords, dog. He did it again. At Don't this turn point, me to bro, a sword, this man bro. is a walking definition of diabolical. Like he's just doing shit. Just be. You turn me to a sword, I'm finna stab you. Or give you a mean ass little paper cut or something, nigga. Mean ass, you feel me? Cuz. So they had to get his bum ass up on out of here. Toto had to hit this man with this plus ultra looking ass black flash and see his musty okay. ass flying. You could probably smell his muscle while Shibuya. So okay. Mahito said, out of hell with this. And pukes out a shitload of doo doo turds to send them all the way up to the surface. And then Ichidori came in for the fucking pig just to get grabbed and thrown into the crater. And then this nasty ass boy decided to risk it all. So he tries to do a 0.2 second domain expansion and got some hands 
things coming out his mouth and shit with his hot ass breath. And before he activated, he needed permission from Sukuna. He was like, hey, hey man, I just want to make sure I'm not touching you, big bro. And gives Toto's hand every single disease that he has. So he had to chop that shit off. He was like, nah, nigga, I'm STD free. So then Mojito's gut checks him with a black flash. But Toto ate it with the power of his parasocial relationship with Tanaka-chan. Like shit, I guess this is an inside look of the mind of a tier three Twitch sub. Mo thought to himself, if I beat this nigga ass, she gon' let me hit. Then each door tags in his <laughs> This is dirty ass like The ultimate motivation. 30 yards. So now Mahito was on his last legs. Next. So out of pure desperation, this man turned himself into a freezer looking ass transformation. Bro said, come at me, monkey. Wow. And he started eating everything. His body just made out of steel. Luke okay, Cage ass nigga. This. And he picks him up and slams his ass. And he head. done beat the hell out of Itadori. Look, his mouth even slid open. So they both go in for Watch a this. final swing. But Mahito's body ends up fucking up. And it was finally Stupid. over for this sick fuck. Toto makes Itadori. Swap places. Expose this nigga, bro. And bless his dumb. Get him out of here. And look at this pathetic son of your bitch. Dumb ass. Bro tried to puke out some more turds and ended up realizing, oh, no, no, I'm out of ammo. And then Itadori just stands over and tells him, you are worthless bitch ass nigga. Get over him, your life literally is as valuable as a summer ant. You serve no purpose in life. You should kill yourself now. And look at this pathetic ass running away like. Run too late. <laughs> going away. And then he runs into Ghetto. And bro gets hit with the whole ass princess and the frog death. I just need a little more time. No, oh, no, please help me. Just a little more time. really getting disrespected this whole video let's keep it real yeah he got a few vicks but he got him like lame as hell bro snuck up on me from behind with when he was done fighting all the people and he was already wounded out of here nigga didn't have hands bro that's the problem Niggas that and boy. with that, ladies and gentlemen, this motherfucker will be locked in this bitch for eternity with a here. whopping level 10 with over eight stars. This yeah. bastard does not need to ever see the light of day ever again. So get comfortable, you dirty, diabolical son of a bitch, because you will spend eternity in the deepest, darkest pits in the asylum. You sick fuck. He's sick, but he got mixed a couple times. You feel me?